know esports? Then prove it. Win real money on all your favorite esports games. Just pick your event. We have loads to choose from. And place your bet. Win real money at Betway. Welcome back, boys and girls, to the Betway WCA 2016 main qualifier and to this best of one between Fruits and Kingwin. And it seems like... I don't know exactly what's going on here. But... I'm not entirely sure what happened here. The knife round was a complete mess. Nonetheless, I guess King would take the knife round. And they decide to start on CT side here on cash. It is a best of one as set. The loser of this one will be out of the qualifier. The winner of this one will go through to the lower bracket final and play against Team X. I do believe that's going to be tomorrow, but I don't have that confirmed yet. As soon as I have a confirmation on that, I will post it on my Twitter. So go ahead and follow me over there if you want. If you want to get that confirmed as soon as possible. We are going to get readied up. Penguin on CT side is set, Fruit on T side. And for Penguin we have Furlan, Mouse, Sparrow, Relin and Mihu. On Fruit we have Ney, Flash, Cola, Barcode and Gapeson. It does seem like Fruits want to go for a fast engagement towards the B-bomb site. Actually, pretty much a complete rush. Sparrow in a great position. Gets a nice double kill as well. Gabeson with a double kill on his own. Takes care of Furlan and Sparrow. Mouse in lower CT. Relin up in heaven. Mihu already on the flank. Oh, getting planned it. For B main. Great shot coming in from Gabeson. Nay taking a lot of damage on the back of sight. Great shot coming in from Relin as well. Nay now in a one-on-one -on -one against against Mouse, but Mouse will take the victory for Kingwin. Oh, he was looking for a kid. I was like, what in the world is he running around for? First round on the ball in favor of Kingwin, 1-0. Really good attempt here by Fruits though. Despite Sparrow getting an early triple kill from Checkers, Fruits still managed to bring it back. Gabeson, a well, nice triple kill on his, on his own and Nate got a single, made it a one-on-one -on -one situation at the very end. Nonetheless, Kingwin took the round. Pretty much a full eco here for Fruits. Upgraded pistols to P250s. On every single player, actually. Now I'm gonna go for a fast play to watch middle. Mihu goes down instantly. It's Cola and Flash helps each other out. Backing away from middle now. Furlan trying to catch them off guard. Will do a decent amount of damage. Cola goes fairly low, so does Nate. Barco did take a bit of damage as well. Seems like Fruits want to make their way over towards the A side now. Are they going for another attempt at middle? They are boosting two up towards middle again. What in the world is this? They are going to push out towards middle. A 
Looking to go for a B split. Two players already situated over towards the B bomb site. Sparrow in the back of Checkers gets one, gets two, gets three. Almost gets the quad as well. Sparrow did manage to take down Cola. And Gapeson left alone. And a one on three. Wasn't a one on four, but did manage to take down one. And finally, he's going to fall as well. 2 0 for Kingwin. And because of that early eco. In the previous round, with only upgraded P250s, they now have enough money for AKs. A single Galilon Flash. They're going for the triple boost. No one watching middle from Kingwin. I'm boosting in towards events though. Berlin getting spotted here. Cola, Cola sorry, takes him down. Pop Flash towards Highway. Not really a Pop Flash. Renan and Mihu, both of them getting a kill. Ney and Barco goes down. Cola taking a lot of damage from Relin, but still managed to return the fire and take Relin down. Good nade coming in from Mihu. Flash and Gapes now in a 2 on 3 situation up against Mouse, Sparrow, and Mihu. Gapes and takes care of Mihu up close towards Vents. I actually thought that Nate was going to do a bit more damage. 2 on 2. Very slow approach from Flash and Gapeson. Now I know you Bulgarian guys out there. Sorry, not Bulgarian. Hungarian, right? Am I mistaken again? Please don't... Geography, okay? I know you Hungarian guys out there have a different way of pronouncing Gapeson. I can pronounce it as he... as he is, like... how he's typing it out. That's Mel Gapson. But I know for a fact that it's G-A-B-E-S-S-O-N. Obviously, I can't pronounce it in Hungarian, because I'm not Hungarian. Good first wreck from Barcode. Mouse pushed in towards A main, gets a frag on Gapeson. Mouse with a nice little double kill. Gets the triple at the end as well. Renan will finally find Barcode. Three members surviving from Kingwin. 4-0 to Kingwin. Bit of a spray down through the mid. The mid middle, I don't know exactly what to call that. Mid spam, I guess. Renan with a double spray down that works perfectly through the smoke. Mihu is gonna find Gapeson. And they line up for Ferlin out towards Checkers. He's gonna get a double of his own. Barcode Cola goes down. 5 0 for Kingwin. And as the odds. Reflected. We did see that Kingwin, obviously the favorites in this one. Fruits. I mean, they do have some great players on the team, but they haven't been together for that long. And Kingwin, obviously a prominent team from Poland. They've played together for quite a while now in different lineups as well. They obviously know him, know each other quite well. Definitely. The strongest team of these two. That works. Gapeson, nice little one dig on Mihu. It's 
tries for a bit more. Flashing towards middle, Gabeson comes out to help. Furling goes down, Sparrow on the flank. They almost line up for him, he gets one with the AWP, swaps over to the USP. Takes care of Flash as well, Cola will trade, pick up the AWP. Make his way back towards the A-bomb side, 2-1-2 two two situation. It's Mouse over towards the A-bomb side, Relen and Sunroom towards B. Still 35 seconds on the clock. Plenty on HP on Fruits. I might actually take this one. I have a good chance of doing so at least. King went spread up. Oh no, they're actually both... They're leaving A site completely. Mistakes have been made. Bomb getting planted on default A. Baku picks up the M4. Two and two are set. Mouse fairly low. Relen down to war down close towards the sixties. Bolnar gets spotted, taking a bit of damage, makes his way over towards Forklift. And pushing in towards the side. Barco in a great position. Gets the double. And first round on the board for fruits. 5-1. Great nade from Mihu towards boost. Takes Gabeson down to roughly 40 HP. A fun little fact. I remember a while ago. It's actually, I think it's like... Half a year to a year year ago, first time I saw Gapeson. I thought his name was a joke, referring that Gabe Newell was helping him out in his CS game. Because back then he was straight up savage. Getting crazy kills left and right in pretty much every single match he was in. Moving in towards the A bomb side here, Fruits. Kolar gets a nice kill on Mouse. Mihu goes for the trade on Barcode. But it's Renan with a nice double spray down. Takes care of Gapeson and Nay. Bomb. That's not a bomb, that's a nade. Getting thrown in towards the side. Takes care of Kolar. Now flash over by Forklift. He's gonna get one on Renan, but Furlan with the trade. And 6 1 for Kingwin. Again, not so much money here on Fruits. They do have. A bit of, of money on Cola and Barco. But the rest of the team, well, they don't really have anything to work with. Obviously, Barco and Cola should drop some pistols for these guys. Nice shot from Mouse. Great shot from Baco though with the Deagle. Catch a sparrow on towards B checkers. Ran up close in mid. Patiently waiting. Mihu. Oh Mihu. Look behind you, Mihu. There's two players right behind you. Finally spots one of them. There's still one more up there though. Two on four situation, Flash and Barco against pretty much the entire squad of of Kingwin. Flash takes care of Mihu. What? That works. Barco, what was that? 
Wow! What a shot! Flash picked up the bomb, now making his way over towards the A bomb site. Both players coming in for the flank. At least so it seems. They're actually making their way out towards middle, so both players potentially coming up from highway. Playing from default side now, Flash taking a lot of damage from that nade. Takes him down to roughly 40 HP. Furlum will finally take him down. And there is Diffuse Kit on both players, so no issue getting the bomb defused either. And so it's 7-1 for Kingwin. Now there is going to be enough money once again for Fruits to buy up. They do have the AWP on Kolo. AK is behind it. Great spray down from Gapes in the middle, takes care of Sparrow. Furlan up close to wants B. Colo is ready for it, takes him down as well. Good start to the ninth round for Fruits. Do want to point out that this is a best of one. The winner of this one will go through to the loser bracket final. The loser of this matchup will be out of the main qualifier for... Betway WCA 2016. Mihu using the smokes to his advantage in the middle takes care of Gapeson. Three on four situation here. As Fruits trying to make their way in towards the B bomb side. Great job by Kolo. On three situation now. Bomb have been planted on the site itself. Seems like Mouse and Mihu gonna try and make their way back away from the site and actually hold on to the rifles for the next one. Smart decision. B can be very tough to retake, especially if you're one man down. So this is gonna be the second round on the board for Fruits. 7-2. Pretty much all thanks to Kolog getting two great frags. But I do want to point out that I don't really understand the position from the B player of Kingwin. He was sitting in front of the site. Completely open. Had nowhere to run if he lost or if he lost the duel or missed his first shot or whatever. And that's exactly what happened. He got he missed his first shot and got taken down by Kolo. And then B site was easy to retake. Or easy to take rather for fruits. Swartz middle is Mihu. Nice peek from Mihu. Kolo goes down to 9 HP as well. Swapping over Kolo now with the AWP. Fruits once again playing a bit slow, a bit passive. Decent attempt here from Kolar. I actually leg shots or I think clipped the the wall here. So he was trying to take Relen down. Relen trades on Kolar. Gets traded instantly by Flash. But very nice reaction from Kolar though. He just spots what looked to be an arm from Relen. Still managed to hit him. Unfortunately it was through, through the edge of the wall. Gapeson and Flash moving in towards the B A bomb site. Sorry, it's been a long day already. Do get the entries as well. Two on two situation here. Gapeson taking a lot of damage from that random spray down. 
Works quite well. Flash in a good position here. We'll catch Sparrow. Two on one now. Furlan. A bit of trouble, but both of them super low. That works. Gaveson going for the shoulder peak. One tap. Gets it done. Furlan goes down. 7-3. Roots going for a fast play towards the B-bomb side. Berlin in a good position with his USP. There's an eco for Kingwin. The rest of Kingwin making their way over towards the B-bomb side as well. Gibson takes care of Berlin over by headshot. Fully blinded spray down. That works as well. Barco gets a double. Mihu now jumping down from above. We'll get to Flash with the trade. 7 4. Have the AWP on Cola once again, Fruits. Pretty much a default setup here for Kingwin. Two players towards B, two players towards A. One of the A players giving a bit of support towards middle. And we have Renan playing over by Sandbacks. Mihu going for the P. Takes care of Gabeson. Making his way back towards the A-bomb site. Relan gets a bracket of his own. Flash will trade. Sparrow from Vents though. Takes care of Flash. Now Smoke coming in. And actually works as intended. He wanted it to look like a Flash and then peek right behind it. But Ney a bit too clever. A bit too fast on his reaction. Not any longer though, he goes down. Barcode with a nice tap action towards Truck from A main. Takes care of Mouse. One on two situation. Furlan and Miho against Barcode. Bomb is dropped on T side of A main. Or mid main, sorry. But Miho will take him down. 8 4 for Kingwin. I do want to apologize for any tongue twisters. It's been a long day already, and uh, English is my third language, so I do want to apologize in advance if I make any more tongue twisters. Any more mistakes. The firing squad goes for the spray down. Three of them just lining up their AKs and going for that spray down. Ney does hear Mouse over on the back of a bomb side over by Quad. Heard him jump a few times. Still a very passive play here from Fruits. Now the bomb is dropped on the back side of a main, and that could indicate that Fruit wants to go for an explosion towards the a bomb site. We do still see Flash peeking out towards B. It's waiting for any commitment from Kingwin, anyone to push out. And as I say that, Barco actually picks up the bomb, makes his way back over towards the B-bomb site. Sparrow is in position, is ready for it. Great peak coming in from Relin in the middle there. As he took down Gabeson. Furlan from side takes care of Barco. In the middle it's Ney, he goes down to Relin. Great job here by Sparrow. Picks up Cola. 
Goes for the repeat with the AWP. Flashy. Or Flash as his call. A lot of trouble. Does get one. But that's all he's gonna get as Renan takes him down. With only three seconds to go. Nine four for Kingwin. And once again, not too much money to work with here for Fruits. And I do believe they're gonna eco for the final round of the first half. Already a pretty good half here for Kingwin. Fruits, once again, just like in the pistol, going for that fast play towards B. Great P, great timing though from Sparrow. Catches Flash as he was trying to flash. And takes him down without a fight. Relan spray down towards mid. Takes care of Gabeson. Cola peeks out from that molly. He goes down 2 on 5 already. Ney and Barco against the entire squad of Kingwin. They pretty much line up for Relin. He only gets one this far. Barcode with his Deagle. Have seen it already. He is a beast. He gets one. On the flank. It's Mouse. It's a bit of a troublesome spray down. Gets the job done nonetheless. 10-4. Running boost on... Red container. Mouse getting boosted up towards Shroud. Renan still watching middle. Takes care of Ney. Mouse in a good position. Gets one, gets two. Miho will help him out. Gibson with a good kill. But he's gonna fall soon after. 11 4 half in favor of Kingwin. Great half on the CT side of Cash. Now it is the CT side of map. Not this, this heavily though. But I do want to point out that it can be very troublesome to get rounds on the T side of this map. Especially for a newer team like Fruits. They haven't been together for that long. And, I mean, it shows. We didn't see any any default takes on A-bomb side. With the smoke smokes getting lined up from the back side of A-main. Out towards Squeaky. We didn't see anything of that from Fruits. We didn't see any set executes towards B either. With the Molotovs and the smokes raining in from Sunroom. And obviously that's something that comes with practice and knowing each other for a while. Getting familiar with each other and... Obviously getting to trust each other. Kingwin lining up. Ooh, what a shot from Cola. One tap. Takes care of Mouse. Cola on the backside on A. Solo defender on A. Help coming in from Highway, but Miu with a jumping burst headshot on Barcode. Three on four already. Flash moving up from Highway. Does spot Relan. Flank coming in from Furlan. Miku takes care of Flash. Furlan with the flank will take care of Ney and Relan gets the final kill on Gapeson. 12-4. Piss around goes in the favor of Kingwin here in second half. Now have a great chance of closing this out fairly easily. Nates. And flashes out towards middle. Pushing towards A main. That's a great push actually. Ney with the help of Barco takes care of Mouse. Mihu trying to line it up. Berlin pushing out from Squeaky Doll with the help of Sparrow clears out its sight. 
Double kill for both of them. Gapeson now left alone on the B-bomb site with his Deagle. Trying to see if he can catch anyone. Gets spotted though. He's now in a lot of trouble. Does spot Sparrow doing a lot of damage on him as well. Berlin from heaven would jump out and get a jumping headshot because why not? 13-4. And all five kills for Kingwin in that round went in the favor of the SMGs. So Sparrow and Ferlin both playing with SMG. Ferlin getting a triple and Sparrow getting a double. That means that the economy is not going to be a problem for the next few rounds here for Kingwin. A complete A stack. For fruits. And in the meantime, King went well, they just run directly into B, land the bomb, and now fruits are left looking at each other like, what in the world? Why did we just stack A side? But I mean it's 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 one of those high risk, high reward kind of plays. I was just watching over by truck. Great job here by Gapeson. Actually ran in super low as well. And Miles will be able to take down Gapeson. Very, very good round here for Fruits, I will say. They get three kills and they're very close to getting the fourth kill as well. Now it doesn't matter that much considering that Sparrow and Ferland did manage to get, get that bank rolling with their SMGs in the previous round, so... And already 14-4 for Kingwin. It's not looking good for Fruits right now. But now, finally, they will have enough money for the M4s and the AWP on Kolor. And they are... Going for the default setup here. Actually, not that default. They have... Three players out towards B. One of them... That's Gapeson. He's boosted into vents. Basically, he's the one... He's the one watching middle. He's getting a bit of help from Barco. Up from Highway. There's only one defender on A right now. That's Nay on the backside. Sparrow, how do you miss that shot? That should have been the easiest shot of his life. I'm okay, looking for that B split, it seems like. Two players in middle, three in middle actually. Miho already in checkers. Good Molotov towards headshot. These are the nades, the mollies and the smokes that I was talking about. Something that's absolutely necessary on this map to, to have these to have the utility and the knowledge of where to throw that utility. It's not something that comes in a day, it's not something that comes in a week. It takes practice. But it's understandable that they that fruits don't have that knowledge yet. But you can see how effective it is right here. A single Molotov over towards Headshot, that's going to be enough to lure that play player out. He's going to try and move in towards CT, that's smoked off. And easy peasy, move into Checkers, you have the great angle for him. And it should be an easy shot any day of the week. Great job by Kingwin. And Fruits, they're, they're just not there, there yet. But as I said, what was it like two days ago? Three days ago, actually. As I said, in the last game where we saw Fruits up against Team X. Fruits, obviously, the odd one out in this tournament. They are the underdogs of the tournament. And a bit of go to be lack. It's Renan now left alone in a one-on-three situation with 8 HP. Gonna be a tough task for him. Keep the eye on him. He gets one. A quick return from Gapeson. And he falls. 15 to 5.
But as I said, through the odd one out in this tournament, the underdogs. And obviously we didn't expect much of fruits and we haven't seen much of fruits. I would have loved to seen a bit more from them, considering that they have I mean they do have a strong lineup. They do have some some very skilled players. Some highly skilled players. My English once again has left me. But unfortunately it, it it's not only about skill, it's also about teamwork and how you play with your team, how you set up for certain executes. And you can see here, with the smokes that I was talking about, fruits didn't show. Now King Wind used those exact smokes. And they're making it work perfectly in their favor. It is gonna be 16-5 for King Win. GG well play well played. I'm sorry, it's it's a bit late. I'm getting a bit tired. I'm sorry about that. But 16-5 nonetheless for King Win. GG well played. Fruits, unfortunately, out of the main qualifier. King Win, well, they're gonna play against Team X for the final spot out of group A. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. And I hope to see you guys back here next time for the loser or the lower bracket final, which is going to be Kingwin versus Team X. I think that's going to be tomorrow, but I'm not entirely sure yet. I haven't gotten that confirmed by the admins. But follow me on Twitter and I'll let you guys know as soon as I have the information. Thank you guys once again for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next time. Esports, then prove it. Win real money on all your favorite esports games. Just pick your event. We have loads to choose from and place your bet. Win real money at Betway.